we're going to do, we're going to start with a brief mindfulness exercise. And um, so I would like to ask you to um, sit relaxed and have, try to have nothing on your, la on your lap, um, or at least that is not really disturbing you. Um, possibly like what often ha is helpful just to have your hands on your, on your legs or just have it in a relaxed position that is good for you. I would also like to invite you to close your eyes, but if you feel that that's too scary, you can also just stare a bit in front of you, that's also okay. So, now that you've closed your eyes, I would like, I would like to invite you to feel how you are sitting. Just feel how your body is touching the chair and how it's touching the ground. Just feel how it's touching. And also observe how your body is feeling today. Is your body tired? Are energetic? Are there any pains or is your body relaxed? Just observe how is your body feeling at this moment. And also observe your breathing. So are you breathing, is your breath very deep? Or is it shallow, is it going quick or slow? You don't need to change it. Just observe how your breathing is going. And now that you are aware of your body, I'm going to invite you to think about some examples of meaningful moments in your life. And just let any associations come up with the questions that I'm going to ask. And it can be anything. And if you have found one example, try to find another example. And if nothing comes up, that's also okay. Just listen to my questions and see what feelings are coming up. I would first like to ask you to think about some materialistic things or some things that you have in your life or nice experiences that you have in your life. So these can be about things that you have, like things like a house or CDs or whatever possessions you have, a car or financial security, or success in your career or in your education, or just some nice experiences you have, like going out, food, all your health, sports, nature, animals, so anything in your life that's nice to have or to experience. Possibly you have some examples of that, possibly nothing came up, that's all fine. Now also think about parts of yourself that can be meaningful. So for instance, that can be some characteristics of yourself, it can be self-care, something that you're proud of, 
you can be proud of something that you've achieved in your life or your autonomy, the way how you express yourself, your creativity. So something about yourself that feels meaningful to you. Try to find some examples of that. And now that you possibly have some examples about what's meaningful about yourself, also start thinking about your social, yeah, the, the relationships that you have with other people. So think about, for instance, like your social connections, your friends, your family, or a community that you feel that you belong to. Or think about altruism, so things that you do to help others taking care of others, of children, parents, sick people. So what is meaningful for you in relationships? And finally, think about some examples in your life, about some larger things that may be important for you in your life. That can be some very specific higher goals in your life, some bigger purposes, or like self-development, or trying to create a better world, trying to be an ethical person, or being spiritual or religious. Think about something about a bigger perspective that is important for you. Okay, if you're ready, I would like to invite you to open your eyes again and come back to the room. If you need to stretch or something like that, do that just to be back again. And possibly you have now some examples about what's meaningful in your life. I would like to ask you to write on one post-it one of those examples. So you'll most likely have like multiple post-its about multiple things that may be meaningful in your life. And so please share some post-its if you've not shared it in your row. And also some pencils if you don't have a pen yourself. And then try actually also to put them in order from the least important to the most important. It's almost like a mountain. You know, like on the lowest part is what is the least important to you, whereas the posts who are more important are higher. So try to write one meaningful experience or one example per post it, and then try to put it in like a hierarchy of what's the least important and what's the most important. Is that clear? Can you remind us of the order? Of the order? Um, oh, you mean of like just examples of yeah, this? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, thank you. I'll give you like uh, approximately five minutes for this. Okay. Most likely you're not totally finished yet. I see still a lot of people writing and reordering all the post-its. Um, possibly you can also do a bit more 
was about that actually in the uh, in the lunch break if you want. I would also recommend you to possibly during the lunch break share some of your experiences with others, uh, with some people who you feel safe to share this with, um, and just have a conversation about that because that gives you a very good meaningful lunch break. Um, <laughs> Um, because the thing is, this is a very weird situation where I do a big group therapy, I give you an exercise, because usually I would like to hear the story from each of you, what you've just been doing, how your experience was, I would give some time for that, we reflect on it, but that would take us a couple of days before we finished, so unfortunately we cannot do that, apologies for that, uh, but look after each other during the, during the break, um, and also be aware that what I've just done with you, this exercise, I've actually spoken, I've actually asked you about four different types of meanings, which are usually discussed in five different sessions. And, and like I've now squeezed that in 15 minutes. So that's very weird. And if you feel, this is going too quick, y'all. It's odd, it's weird. Well, it's possibly I'm odd, I don't know. But um, it is also like very time pressure. So yeah. But just some, um, just some very brief reflections, like if I would be working with you individually or in a group and I would have a look at your post-its, um, there's three things I would be looking at. The first thing is sometimes there are people who have only one or two big meanings in their lives. So that's like um, when I was giving the metaphor of like a mountain, you know when I asked you to put your post-its like in hierarchy from the least meaningful to the most meaningful. Um, and if this would be how your mountain looks like, with only having one or a couple of posts very high and for the rest nothing else, that would be kind of worrying me a bit. Because for instance, if your life is solely about um, becoming very successful in your job, imagine that that is your only meaning in life, that's the only post that you have, and imagine that then, for instance, you become very ill and you cannot work anymore. Yeah, then your total life totally collapses. Like, it's very fragile, that can break down and, of course, then life feels totally meaningless. And, like, you can even start doubting why you're alive. And that's very much because you're so focused on only one thing, which makes you much more vulnerable for, yeah, um, yeah for failure, for feeling, well, my life's not meaningful. So, alternatively, it could be that you have so many different types of examples what's meaningful, that you have so many post-its. I can see some people having like uh, post-its all over the place, um, and which is great that there are so many meaningful experiences in your life. But at the same time, particularly when it's difficult to see like a difference between what's more meaningful, what's less meaningful, then it can feel very overwhelming for yourself. Like, what should I do? Should I do that or do that or do that? And then you get that problem with decision making. Like, there's so many meaningful things. If they're all, if they're all equally meaningful. So what I usually suggest is, or what a lot of people suggest, is to have like four or five types of meanings or groups of meanings that differ in importance. So something like this. Well, there's some very meaningful things in your life. Um, for instance, for myself, giving lectures like this is really meaningful for me. Whereas drinking my cups of coffee is, and enjoying that is very low. Although I do like it, as you know by now. Um, so this is quite a healthy kind of way of looking at it. So have a think about it for yourself. Um, can you find like, like a diversity in your life? And also what's important is, also what I've said before, is... How many social and larger types of meanings are there in your life? If you see on your posts that it's mainly about materialistic things or just enjoying yourself or only about yourself, it could be that that can make you feel psychologically and also possibly even physically uh, not as good as when you would have more social or larger meanings in your life. So that could also be a thing to reflect on for yourself. Well, are more social and more larger things in my life that I could focus on to yeah, to find also all those other types of meaning. Mm -hmm.